Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you hit that subscribe button so that you can find out when I post new videos to my channel. Say, in this particular episode, I'm going to show you why I really love using Keyboard Maestro and how it saves me lots of clicking and moving the mouse and using keyboard shortcuts and things of that sort. So you definitely want to stay tuned because you're going to want to see this demonstration. Okay, so in this particular video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you behind the scenes of, you know, kind of producing uh, my videos using uh, ScreenFlow. Some of you might be familiar with ScreenFlow. And I'm just using ScreenFlow as one example. The example and demo that I'm gonna show you can be worked in other applications as well. So I'm just using this particular one to show you some of the magic of Keyboard Maestro. So let me let me show let me set up what normally happens when I'm working in ScreenFlow. When I get finished with the video, um, in order to export it, I have to go to the menu bar and then you know go into uh, file publish to YouTube here, right? And then it'll come up and it will, you know, select YouTube is great. That's fine. It works really well. But I have to go through and do this here and have to collect, you know, to make sure I select the 720 HD, right? And then I need to go to the next button. And then and then it'll pull up this here. And then I have to kind of go down and you know, select, I think it was uh, yeah, science and technology. Then I had to go in and put in my, um, you know, my tags and then put in, I have to, you know, I start out with private so I can get the video set up before it's actually published. And then I come back up here and add the title and the description. And then at that point, um, you know, then I push the, the uh, plus button. Now you see there's a, there a quite a few little steps in order to get that done. But let me kind of show you what I can do with Keyboard Maestro. So we're going to cancel that out. And I'm going to go over here, and this is what's called a, a Keyboard Maestro palette. Now I'm not going to split Palettes are basically a collection of macros that you can just click um, and, and it will, and it will uh, trigger the macro and, you know, and, and go through the workflow. So I'll, I can also do a video about palettes later on. And again, I'm going to be doing a course about Keyboard Maestro, so I'll also be covering it in the course. But here I have 720 HD uh, YouTube export. Now let me um, just click that right there and watch what happens here. And as you notice, that it's doing all that for me. Okay. Puts in, goes down to private, and then comes back up and is ready for me to write my description. Now, you saw how that happened and probably about, it took about maybe, I don't know, five seconds, 10 seconds at most, right? That reduced a lot of that kind of having to go back and select, um, you know, select stuff and, you know, do this clicking and all that. I can get it done in 10 seconds. So let me show you. Now here is the workflow for that. Now it's, it's, it's long. And if you're not familiar with um, Keyboard Maestro, this is gonna look very intimidating. But again, I use Keyboard Maestro instead of automated because you can, you don't have to be, you know, a, a developer. You don't know anything about code. All you have to do is put together a, and assemble a bunch of actions to carry out um, a particular workflow. So if the things that you do in an application are pretty much done using, um, and they can be done using uh, keyboard shortcuts or the menu, uh, menu bar items, that kind of thing, um, then you can replicate that inside of uh, Keyboard Maestro. So you see here, um, you know, what it did at first is, you know, it saved the document, uh, you know, say the document I was working in, and then it, you know, it paused for, for 1.5 seconds. It did hit this this keystroke here to bring up the YouTube um, uh, export, right? Then it goes on down and does a lot of tabbing and, you know, down arrows and tabbing some more in the space bar. So basically what I did was I every step that I took manually in order to get, you know, to, to perform that process, 
I added actions for Keyboard Maestro to do it for me. And then you see at this point here, when it when it tabs back up, it inserts these default um, kind of uh, you know uh, tags that I'm going to have put into the the video description there. So it does that as well. And then it tabs some more down arrows and you know. And so again, that's the, that's the process. Now I know that I'm not showing you step by step how this goes about, but the purpose of this video is just to show you how and with the magic of you know keyboard maestro and how it's very powerful and it takes a little time to put this together it probably took me probably about 10 to 15 minutes to put all this together but now when i'm going into and exporting um you know getting my getting my videos get ready to export you know it's not a big it's you know it's just like one click and i'm ready to go i mean it just falls in line and it does it and so it just saves me a lot of steps there. And if, and if I'm trying to produce these videos at least once or twice a week, that's going to save me some time because I have a lot of other things I need to be doing. So that's how it works. And I just wanted to show you uh, an idea about what Keyboard Maestro can do. And definitely um, I'll be doing a course about Keyboard Maestro. So you want to stay tuned for that. And you definitely want to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to MacAutomationTips.com in order to get notified about these you know, new videos being posted to my channel as well as um, being able to um, get updates on articles that I post on the site as well. So thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. All right, so that's it for this episode of Mac Automation Tips. Hey, if you found this particular demo really useful, you definitely want to subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to my website, macautomationtips.com, because I will be creating a course uh, probably coming out by March about Keyboard Maestro. So you definitely want to subscribe because it'll be a full course about how to use Keyboard Maestro and do some of the things that I showed you in this video. So definitely subscribe and thanks for watching. Appreciate it.